that makes women interrupt my bathroom time. <laughs> Love has trucked into my life and we are doing a lot of double clutching. Good Times is an American television sitcom that aired for six seasons on CBS. From February 8, 1974 to August 1, 1979. Created by Eric Monty and Mike Evans and developed by executive producer Norman Lear. It was television's first African-American two-parent family sitcom. In this video, we will cast 10 actors from Good Times who died in real life. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and like and subscribe to the channel. Watch the video. Janet Dubois was an American actress and singer. Hold it! No, please. Please! JJ, you keep your hands to yourself. Ray is mine! That's my... She was best known for her portrayal of Alona Woods, the neighborhood gossip Mavin and a friend of the Evans family on the CBS sitcom Good Times. She died on February 17, 2020, of cardiac arrest. Esther Roll was an American actress. She is best known for the CBS television sitcom Good Times as Florida, Evans, for five seasons. Now, Gary, what you did was not very nice, and I don't approve. However, you did make... For which role was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in 1976. She got on November 17, 1998, from complications of diabetes. Ben Powers was an American actor. He was best known for his role as Keith Anderson during the sixth and final season of the CBS sitcom Good Times. On a clear day, life will look around you and you'll see who... Uh, who you really are. He died of liver cancer on April 6, 2015, at the age of 64. Teddy Wilson was an American stage, film, and television actor. Moving along, moving right along. Now, can you tell me where that big pink hog was about an hour ago? On Michigan Avenue. Wilson is best known for his recurring roles as Earl the Postman on the ABC sitcom That's My Mama and Sweet Daddy Williams on the CBS sitcom Good Times. On July 21, 1991, Wilson died of complications from a stroke at the age of 47. Dap Sugar Willie was an American actor and stand-up comedian from Philadelphia. When you buy from Linda, you save yourself a good penny. <laughs> for the last-minute gift, be it wedding, graduation, or bar mitzvah. Best known for his recurring role as Lenny on the 1970s CBS TV sitcom series Good Times. On October 15, 1994, he died of non-communicable disease at age 55. Albert Reed Jr. was an American actor and law enforcement officer. He was mostly known for his recurring role as Alderman Fred C. Davis on Good Times. Oh, you see, I was just about to invite you and your family and Verona over to my house for uh, one of my outdoor barbecues. On May 31, 1986, he died of non-communicable disease at age 76. Helen Martin was an American actress of stage and television. Martin's career spanned over 60 years, appearing first on stage and later in film and television. Cool it, mama. I'm working this week. Martin is best known for her roles as Wanda on the CBS sitcom Good Times. She died of a heart attack on March 25, 2000 at age 90. Moses Gunn was an American actor of stage and screen. He was nominated for the 1976 Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play for his performance in The Poison Tree. Mrs. Towns, why would I want to cheat, Tom? That's up to you to answer. The man showing up half drunk, half can't do his work. Tom has a never- Gunn appeared in six episodes as atheist shop owner Carl Dixon on Good Times. He died from complications of asthma on December 16, 1993, aged 64. Raymond Allen was an American television actor. He had recurring roles as Ned the Wino on Good Times as Aunt Esther's husband. Yeah, who you calling the bad lads, Jump? Well, what bro, you gonna stand here and let this Harry Ape call me a bad lad? No, wait, just... Allen died in August 2020 from a respiratory illness at the age of 91. Johnny Brown was an American actor and singer. He was most famous for his role as building Superintendent Nathan Bookman on the 1970s CBS sitcom, Good Times.
Brown died on March 2, 2022, at the age of 84. Cause of death was not published.